Okay, are in my movie room tour. I name them a little bit different each time. Sometimes I name it uh, my movie room update. Sometimes I name it movie room what I find. So give me a little bit different each time. I made most of these shelves. A couple of these cabinets my family already had. And this uh, china cabinet, it's only like a half a cabinet. And at the bottom, I, look, I keep my Nintendo stuff. I still lost my power supply. I don't know where it went. Been looking for it now for a couple days and for the cord. And plus, I lost one controller too, so I'm gonna have to rebuy those this year. So it's gonna send me back a little bit. Then I'll probably find it. But I look, went through most of my boxes in the storage because all this was storage at one point. So. I moved most of the boxes into the back room and I built all the shelves in the middle. Now I have two aisles and I started collecting on the VHS about two or three years ago. But I had a VHS for a long time, way back in high school. In the old house, we moved to this house. I didn't get to take them, but I forgot about them after a while. But now I got back into collecting. So I'm cut up with most of my DVD that I want for horror. Now I need to build it up on my VHS. So hopefully over the spring, summer, into winter, I'll collect on the Universal Monsters, the ones I'm missing, and then pick up on Friday 13th for VHS. And pick up a couple that I'm missing on Godzilla. Even some of the Universal Monsters are going now for like almost close to 100 bucks on VHS. So. They're getting up there, plus stuff I wanted like Karate Kid, Chucky, Jaws I wanted on VHS, and I've got a couple of things from Thrifting that are pretty cool, like uh, the Dumb and Dumber, Ace Ventura, the Madonna movie I got on Thrifting, Omen I got off eBay, Indiana Jones, I got thrifting. Some of the Star Wars, I got thrifting. Star Trek, I got thrifting. Plus, I'm trying to make some repro uh, posters for my wall. To print them without creases, they want 50, 60 bucks, which might be worth it because it's not always lining up properly where the ends meet on the page. <laughs> the guy printed one of the Dracula and the head of the girl is not quite. Looking right, but I got as close as I can, so I might have to reprint that. But what I remember from the video store is the text in the bottom video movie coming out soon, stuff like that. So I do remember the newer Dracula, newer Godzilla, and the Goodwill, and not Goodwill, but in the blockbusters and stuff, but not the older ones. I'll try to go thrifting probably once if I can go again, probably be middle of the month if there's something there. And the tax refund will help me out try to get a couple more TV shows when I can. Plus if I get any on Christmas money I'll put that towards the TV shows to keep those going. I only need about five or six more. Plus I think I want to get the deluxe set for most of them. And if I find wood in the trash, I'll keep making a couple shelves in the middle because I could add at least two more. And this one I like to make a little bit higher. So I'll give you a look, brief look around. Because these shelves are not the tallest. The ones up front are much more higher. So these I like to get a little bit higher. If I find more wood, then I could chuck these ones in the garbage. And or just like add a little box on top of them, so I could stack another row of VHS, maybe two, and go from there because I made all these to hold VHS. My children's DVDs are all here. Simpsons is very hard to find, so I'm trying to build up Simpsons this year again. All these I found last year, so see how this year will look. I'm trying to build up on Scooby-Doo, anything I get on Wizard of Oz, 
Mary Poppins, probably Beauty of the Beast. Uh, Little Mermaid and stuff like that. Picked up uh, Bruce Lee not too long ago. These ones I found thrifting, so I don't see it too often. Plus, this is from a different set. So if I find any more, I'll definitely grab them. I got Werewolf in Paris, but not Werewolf in London. Next was Chi Chi Chang, one of my favorite comedy movies. Next to Police Academy, which I don't have yet, but I do have it on DVD. Star Trek, I picked them all up for about $4.99 a piece, five bucks a piece. No uh, box, then I found it again on Goodwill for about five bucks for the whole thing with the box, but it's like a crooked box. I'm also collecting on Mr. Bean, uh, building on another Mr. Bean set. I'm collecting on Shirley Temple, collecting on 007 on the VHS, plus quite a few Titanic as well. Building up on more Titanic over here, whatever, like war movies. Like I could get. Plus some more boxes, so I still need to get a couple coming in. But I got them on DVD, so I'm not too worried about that. You get going with the Universal Monsters. I bought them lots, a couple times, so I got quite a few doubles. End of the year, I'll probably put Friday the 13th down below. So I should be cut up by Ben with my VHS. Trying to get more stuff for I Love Lucy. Because I really like that show. Happy I completed Three Stooges, though I didn't really watch it that much on TV. I watched him. Uh, Magnum P.I. a lot. MacGyver's over here. It's about the same MacGyver, but... Still need a couple more for Frasier. Got Married with Children up here. Supernatural is complete. Trying to build up on Dukes of Hazards on the Fat Pack. Still need a couple more for Seinfeld. Atari. Building up on Atari, plus I need to buy some controllers. Building up some shelves, so I got some tools around. Starting up on NES soon, probably end of the year. Try to get Mega Man number three and four. Music still need some older stuff for Dolly, but that won't be till next year. I like the old Pearl Jam stuff from uh, Ten Verses. Then like Vitology after that kind of dropped out. Then I decided, well, I want to get my music back and. Now I'm finding they cost like 40 to 60 bucks and sometimes even 100 bucks for some of them. Some odd bands in here, Motley Crue, Nirvana, Def Leppard's in here, Dolly's over there. Trying to pick up some country, dance, Madonna. And this is the room. Hopefully in 2-3 years I could get into toys where I get most of my games I need plus Sega and then I'll pick up on toys Star Wars and uh, Transformers will be the last thing I'm gonna add for my room maybe comics after that like Supergirl Spider-Man and He-Man and Superman and stuff like that that will come in a couple of years down the road so glad I got this much space. If I do move, then I don't know if I'll have the same space to work with like I have now. It's easy to find what I need when I go thrifting. Uh, what do I need for Simpsons? I could easily come and see, do I need to replace anything? Sometimes they have them English and French. So that's how we have them in our area sometimes, but region 2 I don't collect much on that. If I do, I keep some down below with the doubles. I stop collecting on region 2 because I don't have a DVD player for them. Plus I don't like the way they look with all those symbols on them, so... I told myself I'm not going to be buying region 2. I don't buy very many Blu-ray, I do have tape. 
I don't have a laser disc, so if I do have Blu-ray, just like one row of Blu-ray. So I might pick up stuff like Titanic, Back to the Future on Blu-ray and stuff like that. X Files. I still need season three for this box. I'm w willing to pay forty bucks for it. If not, I'm gonna have to start building up on this a box set. Pay on a play on eBay because I don't see X Files locally at all. Xena is a really happy back came in. Two hundred fifty dollar box set right there. They do have a condensed set. I picked up the condensed set for Cheers. Still need to get some more stuff for WrestleMania. But that's really expensive as well now. And yeah, let's go from there. This is the tour. Thanks for watching. And my vintage dolls, haunted dolls. I don't have an EMF meter anymore, but I might buy one at some point. Because they're about 100, 150 bucks a piece for a better EMF meter.